Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. This is the Scientific Foundations of Higher Consciousness. This is a call to be responsible for oneself and everyone else. We are, every one of us, our brothers and sisters keepers. We all depend on each other every one of us. This is a concise but full communication of ultimate truth to give everyone, including you, an initial wisdom teaching. All words are an invitation to consider the truth of reality. This is not about mechanical robotic techniques. In other words, it is about the eternal real beyond all words, thinking, and thoughts, not about creator God or gods or of traditional religions, but of the heart of reality itself. This is not a matter of belief or believing. The ego is a contraction of the radiant life of the heart, not the physical heart. This is what you and everyone is suffering. The egoic life is a search or a deep cry based upon the contraction of the total body-mind. We humans are composed of two, two life fields, the body and the aura field, which envelops the body between three feet to ten feet all around. For more knowledge on this, please go to Jesse, J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S Jesse Johnson, Flat Earth, at YouTube. You cannot be sane if you believe there is only flesh, grossness, or materiality. Materiality is a dead philosophy. Virtually every single thing believed in is dead things, clothes, tables, houses, money, etc. Go ahead and have some of these, but never believe that this is all. There is something materialists are not accounting for. It is not enough to presume the materialist position, for you become only a piece of dead moving material yourself. You cannot see and hear every, every, every frequency, taste or smell everything. Everything is not in the form of atoms and frequencies. All 17 of our senses are very limited. There are matters that cannot be proven or disproven. Your existence is one of them. The source of doubt itself is of the same mind that tries to so-called prove what it cannot believe. To continue, no intellectual proof of the existence or non-existence of a God can ever heal you. It is always inherently the matter of true realizing and transcending the ego I identification and all answers and questions directly and emerging in the inherent ultimate self evident supreme non-God divine. The existence of actuality, the total universe, any God, is the same as the characteristic of your own existence and every and all else. That characteristic is existence itself. Everyone, everything, everybody, living or non-living things, is never in e v e r never in a position separate from its own existence not even nothing or something or the total universe can never inspect objectively or subjectively know its own 
existence. Why? Because not even nothing or something can't, can, can't ever stand outside of its own existence or the existence of anyone, anybody, or anything else. Reality is existence and being itself. Reality is the isness of that which is. Existence is, a, existence is as an I that sees other things but not itself. A fingertip that can touch other things but cannot touch itself or words that can be used to communicate other things but can never talk itself. As such is non-knowable, total, absolute, utter, unknowable, impossible, 100% utter, irreducible, transintuitive, trans, realizationable inherently irreducible, where everyone, the universe, everything is of ultimate divine ignorance. The total universe nor existence can never stand outside itself. Effective listening is a prerequisite for correct understanding of what's being said here until its ultimate obviousness is comprehended from exhaustive contemplation. The ultimate mystery of all mysteries is not how things came to be by any cause and effect matter, but the ultimate supreme mystery of all mysteries is the fact that anything, the total universe, any so-called supreme God, infinity, eternity, exists at all. Even though these things I'll state are important, it's not, not the where, when, who, when, where, when, who, what, if, or how of all, everything, omni, the ultimate total universe, or what, it, or anything that arises, but that there is existence, being, reality, isness, actuality, at all. Transcending the universe, the world, the mind, the total conventional conditionality of a physical and psychological self, once you engage in existence or being itself, it is the beginning of progressive transcendence. Therefore, existence, being, consciousness, self-inherent, non-electromagnetic radiance stands in place of everything, the total universe, infinity, and all conditions. The universe, the total universe that is, and also oneself, supreme non-religion, non-theistic God, cannot be proven or disproven because this is prior to all conventional and non-conventional knowledge and knowing. Indeed, this universe and ourself cannot be proved, believed, known, perceived, conceived, or true doubted. Ultimately, so-called you is consciousness itself, which is a field, so to speak beyond the body-mind, but including it. You are not the body or mind, but include them as a reference focus point. And true happiness is the well of living waters beyond time and space. It is the only way to go beyond this nightmare of which you are bound and tied. You have identified 
so called you have identified with a limited body and a limited mind which perpetuates bondage producing suffering suffering and all fear is an activity an activity you are doing the living waters of genuine happiness exist it is spiritual not religion that is the truth you have been brainwashed in multi layers of lies and deceptions in all 12 universal institutions of humanity humanity is composed of womankind all females and mankind all males you have been socially conditioned to suppress repress control be be controlled manipulate and destroy the total body mind to be a nor normal person love is not of time or space once again love l o v e is not of time or space but is a trans state of radiant being love fails for you only when you betray self life reject and do not love every one all living beings want to love and be loved self understanding not egoism is exercised in meditation and life radiant happiness is characterized by this you and all have a natural instinct to and toward infinite life which is about the disposition to exceed mortality this is the platform of sacred cultures when the sacredness of infinite life is suppressed suffocated ignored pushed away etc the core of life is covered and the total life contracts and traps all energies into atrophy and stagnation then the search the search begins the search is a mere blood dripping mortal drama of searching the body and the mind are not forever but that which you in fact are is downright true immortal true eternal true infinity not time space infinity when the contraction of the heart is no more the body mind becomes a vibrant rose thus your heart not the physical heart either raises a fist and throws stones in protest or it grow in indestructible non-electromagnetic living light hell h e l l is when your life goes all wrong there is no other hell for heaven hell or beyond both you must make it so genuine faith is a fragrant flower not a mind idea unless it is poisoned by empty beliefs and it never reaches the beginning in an eternal field above the physical stars your true condition is beyond egoity and conventional conditional re conventional conditional references your true condition so to speak is eternal there is only reality inherently always already the case there is only one so to speak one reality therefore there is only one teaching this is not philosophy no theory and no belief I want to thank everyone. Please subscribe and share this video and thank you for listening and watching and have a fine day.